Hi, my name is Deepak Kar. I am a senior engineer at MathWorks, working on Simulink editors. And today, I'll show you some of the recent improvements we have made to Simulink editors to help you in creating and editing ports. Ports in Simulink have a duality. You see them at the block level and inside the subsystem. Managing this has always been challenging. A few years ago, we introduced automatic port creation where when you drag a line, a port automatically gets created and you can continue your work. We have significantly improved this in the last couple of releases. In this video, I will demo two of the recently shipped port editing workflows. These are port label editing and access to port properties using property inspector. Let's start with port label editing. In our 21A, we have introduced port label queues that help in identifying ports. Port label of a selected port can now be edited directly on the block icon by clicking on the port label queue. You can use port label selectors to choose the associated element name to be edited. Let us rename the port block name of the required change input port on the heater control block. Let's open the heater control subsystem block to verify the renamed port block. The name of the port block has been updated by editing the port label on the block icon. You can now access port properties from the property inspector. Property inspector shows properties of the selected port. Ports on subsystem blocks show an additional tab for showing the properties of the underlying port block. Let's navigate back to the port properties and add a signal name. This name is used for the signal originating from the output port. In summary, you can now edit ports effortlessly. Thank you for watching this demo.